Hey, um, Josh here. I just got back from watching the movie Sing in theaters at this point of filming, of course, and um, I had to talk about it. I, in short, I really loved it. But uh, I, I just wanted to do a really quick review because I, I just loved it so much, and hey, cartoons, right? Anyway, I'm not going to spoil the ending. I don't like doing that. Not even with the series that I review. I don't like spoiling endings because that can ruin people's... I, the desire of people to actually watch this, and this is a movie that if you watch it, you will probably enjoy it. It's a... It's a family film. It's good for anybody in the family. They, they will find at least something that is very enjoyable. And it's a... You go... I went into it, and I found out very quickly that it's not really about the competition. Is that if you don't know about Sing already, the whole plot of it revolves around a failing theater. It's just inches away from being closed down entirely and the owner being completely ruined. And he makes this one last chance of opening the singing contest. Open entry and selling tickets to that. With a with a prize reward offered, a cash reward offered, and but I found that it's not about the competition. It's about the different characters and what they brought to the story, and every single character is fleshed out, well written, and I frankly enjoyed every one of them. I don't think there was a single actual character I hated. Even the ones that are, even the characters that were set up to be the villains, and there are actually quite a few that are set up to be villains in the movie, even them, even they, were enjoyable. I got behind them, even though they're villains, but that, that happens, that's a actually a usually a Disney quality. You like the villains too, and that's fine. And you understand every character. Their motivations, their dreams, their aspirations, even the villains. But it isn't just the story, it isn't just the characters. They even chose great music throughout the entire movie. Whether they were performing on stage for it, auditioning to be to perform it on stage, or it just being some background thing involved with the story. All of the music was fantastic. And the and the not not spoiling anything. I liked it, uh, Mom liked it, um, we liked it a lot. Um, Illumination is doing some good stuff. Um, I mean, enjoyed Secret Life of Pets when it was out. It's starting to be a pretty good contender when it comes to, when it comes to CGI family movies. And, um, well... It, I I definitely recommend you check Sing out. It uh, if you thought the trailer looked good, if you thought the trailers to Sing looked good, the movie is a lot better. Um, they had a good they had good singing performances, good characters, good casting even. Um, 
good writing, I already mentioned, I believe. Direction was putting on. Um, had a couple creative ideas happen in a world full of nothing but animals. Yeah, it, uh... I will say, my favorite character... My favorite character in the entire movie is... Mr. Moon, the owner of the... The, ko the koala owner of the theater, played by Matthew McConaughey. He was my favorite. I enjoyed... I enjoyed Mr. Moon. And, uh... That, but I loved all of the characters. He was just my most favorite. I think because he connects with me a little. I... I like to believe I'm an entertainer. I feel like an entertainer. And, uh, yes, I, I wonder if I will ever play to a larger audience. Because to an to an entertainer, the audience is everything. If I do, if a performer has nothing to perform to, what is he? Is he still a performer, or is he just doing this for nothing? It's like yeah, you could look into financial reward. You could look into. I guess you could do this for you, and yes, there is that, but I'm a natural showman. I want an audience. I perform for an audience. I do what I do for you. Even, even if you don't like it, I tried. I tried to bring you happiness, and if I fail, I did, but when you know you're an entertainer, you might be a bad entertainer, but if you know you are one, there's really nothing else you can do. That's who you are. You, you entertain, even if you didn't really entertain. You tried. And, uh... I'm 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 getting entirely off track and I I apologize. But yeah. I really liked this movie in many ways. Uh, the song selection even there's no matter what your musical taste is, there was a song for you in this in sing. And uh I don't really have a rating system or anything, but again, I I wildly recommend you check this out because I think I think you'd really like it. This is the first time I've actually decided to film a special like this, where I talk about a movie I just went into. I was going to do it for the live action Jungle Book of months back. But I never got around to it, and didn't, so... This is... I guess I did... did this kind of with Moana during my uh, Hawaiian week one, but... This was a lot more in-depth than Moana, which I also enjoyed, so... Well, that's, um, that's really all I got. I, uh, better get finished, better, be, better finish this up so I can go out there and tell Mom she can turn on the TV now. Okay, um, that's it. Sing. Loved it. Great movie. Watch it. And, uh, until we meet again next year, or, yeah, I might put something up. I might have something put up besides this. Yeah, probably next year.
But until then, stay tuned.